Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, back to Scrap Mechanic Survival Mode. And if you remember the last episode, we um, enhanced our workshop a little bit to actually have workshop items in it. We got our automatic saw table, our automatic hammer, our automatic hydraulic press that needs some paint, but I'm all out of paint. And of course, we got our workshop table. So in today's episode, we're going to do an experiment. We're going to kind of workshop something. And um, I want to see, is it possible to have a spud gun without a spud gun. So what I mean by that is when I was experimenting with creating our spud turrets on our base defenses over here, um, I was trying to figure out ways to increase the ammo capacity of these turrets uh, bigger than the ammo containers that we have right here, which uh, I actually have to refill a little bit. Here, let's just put some there, put some there, get some more out of here. Put some more in there. Put some more in there. There we go. And get get some more out of here. And you know what? Uh, it's kind of morning. I'll go ahead and grow some spud some spuds just to recover a little bit. And by the way, um, I've been seeing this in the comments repeatedly, and I wanted to try it out. Apparently, you can actually plant spuds by shooting a spud into your soil. So that's a thing that exists. Although you're wasting one spud to grow five spuds because you get five spuds per plant, I'm pretty sure. So you still get a return, but um, you'd still, you're still losing what you could get if you just use seeds. So I think it's more efficient to just, just use some potato seeds instead, and that way you'll get your full uh, return on your spuds. All right, so while I'm planting here, let me explain the concept. So when I was trying to figure out how to increase the ammo capacity, um, I wanted to see if I could actually use a large chest to feed into the ammo containers somehow to increase the capacity of those ammo containers. And what I found out is you can't. There seems to be no way to have the ammo containers pull from another container, unfortunately. But what I did notice that if, if you hook up a vacuum pump to a large chest like this and the chest is full of potatoes, and then you hit the button for the vacuum pump to expel the potatoes, it shoots them, just like a spud gun would. So I want to find out in this episode if doing that can actually damage enemies, because if so, you can essentially make a spud gun without needing a spud gun. And if that doesn't work out at all, and it's just a moot point that is going to be a non-starter, then uh, I have a backup plan for this episode as well. But um, first I need to see if this is even a viable concept. All right, potatoes are planting. That means I gotta make sure that I'm ready for the raid tonight, which my base can do a pretty good job at defending itself, actually. Oh, I just realized that I never repaired my base from the last raid. We did those, uh, the high tier, top tier raids, and somehow some of my wheels got destroyed, and I don't know if it was the tape bots or the big bosses or anything like that, but we're missing some wheels, so I figured I'd go and replace them right now. I think it was just two anyway. All right, let's see here. We got wheel right there and wheel right there. And I think that's everything. All right, and we got this section right here. Oh, is that facing the wrong way? Is that going the wrong way? Nope, I think everything's going the right way. All right, I think we're all good. Our base is protected. So now let's get on to the concept at hand, which is vacuum pump with large chest of potatoes. There we go, vacuum pump. I'll just have one vacuum pump for now. And we're gonna use this. And do I have extra logic? I do have extra logic because we might want to make an automated system because the vacuum pumps to expel, you need to keep pressing the button in order to keep it shooting. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. I am missing a single glue for a large chest. Seriously, right now? There should be glue right down here somewhere. There we go. All right, large chest is being crafted. Okay, here we go. So what vehicle do I want to use for this? Uh, Cause I need to put this on a vehicle, um, but I already have like so much stuff on this vehicle. Um, I think maybe it might kind of, oh man, if I use this, then I kind of shouldn't have made the chest because we got this chest right here. We had an empty chest already with a vacuum pump on it. It's already set. <laughs> All right, so check it out. If I just put this in here and get in the seat, watch when I press the button, see? Oh, whoa, I didn't realize, I did not realize how slow that goes. I've never seen it actually fall down. I've only seen it shoot against a wall that was close. That's kind of cool. All right, well, that's ready. That's ready to go. So let's just go ahead and take this vehicle down. 
And hopefully we don't mess up and get destroyed. All right, wish me luck on this. All right, where'd these bots go? I just want the hay bot. Hey, bot. And I guess the little greenie can work too. Oh, oh, that's more than I bargained for. All right, hold on. Hold on. All right, here we go. I don't think it's working. No, it doesn't do damage. Okay, that's a lot of hay bots though. Should we leave them, should we leave them into the base or into the home for Hank? Oh, no, they, oh no, they're still following me. Some of them are at least. Nope, they stopped. Kind of. I don't know what's going on right now. All right, you can follow me into the home. All right, come on in. Come on in. Do you really? Do you not come in even though you can see? What are you doing? Just come in. Eh. Ow! <gasps> what just happened? I have a minute left. Come on. All right, can we go? Come in. Come in into the door. All right, I'm gonna have to lead you in from the other side, aren't I? I'm over here. There we go. There we go. Okay. All right, now let's get ready for the raid. Okay, so actually, here's my backup plan. My backup plan is I want to try to capture an entire raid. We're going with the backup plan instead. The entire video is just shifted directions because we found out that this was not a viable solution. So my plan to capture an entire raid is uh, I want to put the entire raid into that house, which means I'm going to actually raise my defenses. Here, let's raise this. We're going to get rid of the spud option because um, I want all of them to, as many of them to survive as I can. And then I have to lead them all over to the house. All right, here they come. We have like three seconds. This is good timing. All right, here we go. I have to get all of their attention. All of their attention. Oh my goodness, that is a lot of hay bots. Holy cow. All right, this is working so far. Are they going to follow me all the way over there, though? Or are they going to give up and come back to my base at some point? We're going to have to find out. All right, so this is... Oh, no, see, those guys are giving up. These guys are definitely giving up. All right, come on. Come on. Come on. Yes, look how many there are. Can I get them all into the house? <gasps> some of them are abandoning. Oh, no. All right, come up this way. Come up this way. All right, we're definitely going to lose some of the smaller guys. I probably should have actually kept... What are these guys doing? They're not coming after me. Come after me. All right, well, these guys are. How are we doing over there? I think we're doing good so far. All right, come on in. Oh, no, they're not coming in. These guys are terrible. They're terrible at their jobs. Ow! I'm terrible at my job too, apparently. <laughs> Come on, guys. Come on. Come after me. What is this? Is our base doing fine? I don't see anybody that actually got to our base. We just have a bunch of frozen bots. Yes. Yes. All right, there's one. There's one. We got one. Oh, oh yeah, that's the other one that was already here. Okay. One success. All right, now you come after me. Please. Maybe if I push him from behind? Oh my goodness, is this how I have to do this? All right, there's another one. All right. I want to get every single haybot from this raid in here. Okay. I can't believe that this is working right now. Ow, 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 ow. Let me go. There we go. There's another one. <laughs> Guys, we're capturing a raid right now. <laughs> These guys are gonna be gone though soon. All right, he's just following me, so that's good. I think at like, I'm actually curious to see what happens then. I'm curious to see what happens when, uh, when 4.30 or when four o'clock comes, I think that they usually would disappear or walk away. I'm wondering if they're just gonna disappear or they're gonna try to walk away and get stuck. All right, can you follow me? What, are you, is that you? Are you following me? Follow me. No. Oh, come on. This way. We have like two minutes left. Come on. They really need to work on the AI of these. Apparently. All right, I'm pushing you. I'm pushing you in. We're going in. Yeah. 
Yeah, this is working actually really, really well. This this pathway, this bridge that I created fits perfectly for this concept. And look, I didn't even have my guns down and my base has defended itself with just the wheel trap. No, 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 no. Yes, 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 yes. No, 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 no. No, what do you, you can't, you can't do that. You can't do that. Yes, this way, this way, this way. No, no. Am I gonna have to, we're gonna have to resort to being pushy. Ow, are you following me now? Uh oh, I wanna see what happens. I don't wanna miss what's in there. All right, this guy might not be able to. All right, you don't wanna cooperate. I'm sorry, you don't get to participate. All right, four o'clock's almost around. Let's see what happens at four o'clock. Do they freeze? Do they disappear? All right, here we go. We got a whole party in here. 10 seconds. I think it's four o'clock, could be 4.30. Here comes. Here comes. And they're trying to find a way back. Look at that. At exactly four o'clock. But I think they used to disappear, but then they changed it so that they walk away instead of disappearing. So now I'm curious what's gonna happen. Oh, one of them just fell off into the water. <gasps> a haybot in the water? What does that mean? Oh my goodness. Oh, he's gonna knock me into the water. Um Hold on, hold on, where's toilet? Need toilet, toilet. There we go. We have multiple haybots swimming in the water. Are they ever gonna disappear? I don't know what's gonna happen to these guys. I kinda wanna hang out and watch. Look at one, two, three, four that are still inside. Five, six. I don't think, do we have them now? And Oh, there they go. There they go. And we're left with the one that actually spawned nearby. All right, well, that was an interesting experiment. I want to do it again tonight. I want to see if we can trap more this time. We trapped five Haybots from the raid and uh, no Greenies. We were unable to successfully attract the Greenies. So I don't know if there's a method we can use to attract more of them. Look at that. We had like five Greenies here that died. So we still got to wait. We already have a raid timer for tomorrow night. So we're going to do one more raid and we're going to try that again and see what happens. In the meantime, I'm going to gather some materials and stuff, some more flowers and things like that. And I'm really disappointed that the, uh, the vacuum pump idea didn't work at all. I got some flowers, I got some beeswax and stuff, and now I'm feeding my glow bugs, just doing the, you know, the day-to-day, -day, uh, scrap mechanic work. I'm actually, like, my, my glow bug farm has been one of the most successful things that I think I've built. Like, I tried to, I tried to contain the cows, the cows could not be contained. I've tried to contain hay bots. I mean, they cannot be contained for long, but uh, the glow bugs, not a single disappearance so far. So that's been very, very encouraging. All right, so I planted a new crop of potatoes. And uh, what I did in the meantime is I got my paint out of the paint, uh, out of the craft bot chain because I want to go ahead and finally paint this thing to actually look more like a hydraulic press. So we can definitely paint these things to be press colored. There we go. Just like that, and I think in the hydraulic press fashion, I'm gonna paint this to be, actually, that's too light. No, that's, that's, no, I'm gonna paint it dark green. I feel like darker is better. Oh, we're getting frame drops again. All right, let's hope I can paint that. I'm not, probably not even gonna paint the back just because no one's gonna see the back and it'll save on paint anyway. All right, there we go. Now we got our much better looking hydraulic press and we'll paint that green as well. Let's see how much paint do we have left now. We have 11 paint left. Oh boy, why are my frames bad again? My frames seem to just go bad at completely random times. I don't know why. Maybe I'll, I'll weld my vehicle back up and actually let me lift my gates up. My gates seem to cause it at random times when they're down. I don't understand that. All right, there we go. Vehicle welded. Our frames are doing decent now. All right, we got four minutes, almost five minutes until the next raid. And uh, it should be a bigger raid, which means we should have more bots to try to capture, which I think will be interesting. All right, and by the way, that bot that's in there right now that we have, that is not Hank. Don't be fooled. Don't be fooled. That is definitely not Hank. Hank is somewhere getting milk. Um, I'll let you guys know if I ever see him, though, because he, he tends to hang out. All right, the way I know whether it's Hank or not is Hank tends to hang out like closer to this rock here, just somewhere around this area. But the other bots tend to be farther away. So that's how I can tell the difference between Hank and not Hank. <gasps> Guys, I think I just thought of a different way to try to capture a raid. Oh, this could be potentially deadly. 
and also r really interesting if it works. I'm going to need some more tier two metal, though. Tier two metal. There's some tier two metal, tier two metal. I know I crafted a bunch of it. There we go. I'm just going to have a bunch of it on me. Ooh, look at all those wheels I have. You got some lights, too. All right, I got a bunch of tier two metal on me. We got like a minute and a half. I'm going to put this horn away for now. Let's have a bunch of it down here. Okay, so here's the idea. The issue I had was I had to drag them away from um, from where their, actu where their actual target is. So this time, we are going to prepare with a cage, like an actual cage in the prime area that I can more easily lead them into. So then if I can get in here, and you know what? Uh, if I am like right here, can I reach this side? Oh, this is it, guys. This is it right here. I just have to lead them in here, and I am going to capture a whole raid right here. <laughs> this is going to be good. Here it comes. All right, we just got to we gotta get them all to come after me. All right, come after me up here. Up here. No, 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 no. Up here, up here, up here, up here. This is going to be tough. What is happening with that guy? Uh, uh, I'm stuck. I'm stuck. I'm stuck. I'm stuck. I'm stuck. Okay, come after me. Come after me. Over here. Inside, up, and in. Yes. Yes. Please don't tell me that they can reach me. I can't reach the end. There it is. That guy's missing. Or that guy's arriving late. Come on in. Come on in. Yes. Oh, is that not lined up? It's not lined up, but it doesn't matter. <gasps> is this the whole raid? Is this everybody? I think we may have done it. Look at how many Haybots we have. I think there is a single Haybot over there that just got trapped, but can we... I don't know if we can easily bring him over. Here, let's try. Oh, no, I left my chair inside. Oh, no, it's right there. Okay. All right, let's see what we can do with this guy. We got plenty of time. All right, I know you're part of the raid. You just got stuck. Will you follow me? Oh, you're stuck, aren't you? You're gonna do the stuck thing. Yeah, 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 no, no, you're just... You're just after the farm, aren't you? All right, come on. What is your problem? You know, you gotta get your priorities straight, buddy. I mean, are you just admiring? You're admiring the castle? You're like, wow, this guy did a lot of really good work. <laughs> Look at that. That's amazing. Yeah, this guy's really, he's just admiring everything. He's like, wow, look at all the work this guy did. I don't stand a chance anyway. Might as well just sit here and admire it. Oh, you want to go swimming? <gasps> no, 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 no. You do not do that. All right, I don't think this guy's gonna, I don't think he's gonna go over here. All right. Oh, 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 come on, come on. Yeah, there you go, there you go. No, oh, yeah, here we go. Here we go. Okay, so this is gonna be this is gonna be tough. How do I do this? How do I get him in? What if I what if I do this? And then jump up here. And then now I don't know. Ah! Oh, they can hit me up there? Oh no. Oh! <gasps> One of them got pushed through the wall. Are they hitting my chair? Oh <gasps> they broke my chair. I cannot believe that they just did that. All right, I'm sorry. You guys were lucky enough to escape, but um, I can't have I can't have you guys out here anymore. I'm sorry. All right, so this is the rest of the raid that we have managed to capture. Here, for the sake of uh, being able to see it all, we're gonna widen our field of view here. So yeah, I did see a few people comment this, and here you have it. We've captured an entire raid. I mean, we had to kill a couple of them because they weren't cooperating, but other than those two haybots, we got three greenies, and we got one, two, three, four, five, six haybots. So there were Oh, 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 that, that scared me. They're like leaving all of a sudden. <laughs> it must be four. Yep, yeah, it is four now. And the sun is coming up. All right, at any moment, these guys are definitely going to disappear. I don't know. I think I waited. Oh, there they go. It's actually not that hard. It's not that hard to capture a raid. As long as you use some materials that are six durability or higher, then when it comes to uh, the raids that don't have tape bots or bosses, it's really not that big of a deal, to be honest. Leading them too far away from your base is going to be a little bit too difficult. So I definitely recommend if you ever want to capture a raid, there's your strategy right there. Create a box right front and center of where they're going to be attacking. Lead them in and close them off.
because they will follow you if you uh, if you intercept their line of sight, at least for a while until you get too far away from the base. This is more of an experimental episode. We experimented with the vacuum pumps as a spud gun, which did not work. They just shoot weak potatoes. Apparently potato velocity is a big factor when it comes to damage, which makes a lot of sense. I mean, that's kind of how a bullet works in the first place. If I just throw a small piece of metal at you, it's not really gonna do a lot of damage. But if I propel it explosively out of the barrel of a gun at you at very high velocity, it all of a sudden becomes a little bit more of a threat. And it turns out, potatoes aren't really that different. So I'm curious, do you guys have any other like crazy experiments like this you wanna see me try? We're kind of in the end game of, um, we're, we're in the end stages obviously of survival as it stands right now. So we have much more room to just kind of mess around as if it's almost creative mode now. Uh, and that's also the reason why some of you may, may have noticed I've been uh, cutting back on the amount of survival based content because there's really no more progression as far as the actual survival world itself. It's more just about having fun with uh, the, just the different environment compared to creative mode. So I do have more plans to obviously expand the base. I want to create another floor. Uh, above the workshop and also we can always improve on the workshop and but I definitely want to create like a home and even down on the bottom I want to create kind of like a um, a beach shack kind of style area with like a pool and everything yeah I want this area to have like this is where like the cook bot is gonna be and there's gonna be like places to sit and lounge and whatever and then up here above that house above this workshop floor I kind of want there to be like a throne room Maybe like a dining hall, like an official big dining hall and like sleeping quarters and just stuff like that. Big plans, but I don't know how far we'll get into completing those because that's going to require a lot of building materials and uh, grinding isn't the most fun thing to do at this stage in survival. But of course, if any big updates come out, then we're going to have fun with those as well. So there's actually a lot to look forward to despite being at such a late stage in the game. All right, so don't forget to check out the merch link down in the description below because if you guys weren't aware already, I just released some brand new diamond plate face mask merch. So it's kind of like scrap mask, basically. And there's also a bunch of other merch that you may not have been aware of if you never checked out the merch link before. So check that out down in the description. If you want to see more awesome scrap mechanic content or anything else on the channel, then go ahead and check out some of this stuff on the end screen. I hope this video has earned your subscription. Anyway, this has been Scrapman, and I'll see you next time. Bye.